Oh, is that go right here? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday only. Me and Manly are in here right now. Jonah and Sissy are still sleeping. Titus, Tyler, and Jacob already left. They had to go get some feed and stuff this morning. They went to breakfast at Chick-fil-A. I was gonna cook breakfast this morning. I was like, I'm getting up. I'm gonna do the big breakfast buffet for this weekend. Didn't happen. Mm -mm. I woke up and started coming in here gonna get stuff ready but Titus called and he was like do you just want something from Chick-fil-a because he had already had to go to town for something and I was like I don't want anything but y'all go ahead Manly just woke up a few minutes ago and the first thing he asked for was yogurt goodness he has his little spoons mm. <laughs> yeah but he doesn't like them he thinks he's a big boy he wants to use spoons like everybody else did you have a good night's sleep mm. look at that hair Woo! yeah baby yeah, you a baby? Baby. Baby hair? How? Baby hair. I'm gonna put the cinnamon rolls in the oven that they gave us on the grocery pickup order. You know, I ordered the pumpkin ones, but now that I'm thinking about it, I'll have to go back and see if I can find that video, but I think we tried the pumpkin cinnamon rolls last year and we didn't like them. The kids didn't like them, I think. So it's probably good that they gave us these. And these are not cinnamon rolls, these are biscuits. I got the wrong ones. It's probably good that they gave us these instead. So I'm gonna make these cinnamon rolls. That way they'll be ready when Jonah and Audra wake up. And when they wake up, I'll scramble them some eggs to go with them. So yeah, whenever they got Chick-fil-A, I was like, I'm gonna lay down for about 20 more minutes. So I did, and then I got up, got ready. Well, I got my head ready. I'm still in my jammies. I already had my coffee, but I'm about to make another cup, I think. It needs water. Oh, don't you just hate that? Don't you just hate when you wanna just make a cup of coffee and the machine needs water? Why? That's the only thing about these K-cup machines is they run out of water so quickly. I mean, whatever, it's not a big deal. Just put the water in it. It's just like the gas tank. You fill it up and then somebody else drives the car and then when you get back in it, it's on empty. Same thing happens with the coffee maker. Once I get these cinnamon rolls in the oven and go finish getting ready, I'm gonna start a cleaning list this Saturday. Looks like it's gonna rain, I don't know. I haven't checked the weather because why? It's never right. I also wanted to go to the farmer's market, but I really like to go early when I go to the farmer's market, especially the one we were gonna go to today because they get busy quick. So we might do that next Saturday, and that's the farmer's market that we usually go to for picking pumpkins, picking peaches, all those kind of things. But last year and this year, they've canceled all their you pick stuff. They call it the you pick days because you pick it anyway. <laughs> apples all that they're not doing it this year again so no you pick days oh the sun it looks like the sun's coming out before i go get ready while the cinnamon rolls are cooking i'm going to empty this out and wash these dishes real quick Okay, the list is made. At the top of the list, we have the laundry room. I, of course, need to do laundry. I wanna try to get three to four loads done today so I can skip laundry tomorrow. I need to clean behind the laundry baskets, just pull them out and sweep behind them and under them. 
um, clean the shelves. We have a little shelf thing over in between the wall and the other refrigerator in there. I need to clean that up. I need to straighten up that refrigerator real quick. It's getting kind of messy in there. And then I want to sweep in there. And then we'll be done with the laundry room. The bookshelf, I need to switch out the books. Some of the kids' old workbooks and stuff are still on this bookshelf in here. So I need to switch all of that out and put all of the new books. Then I want to make egg salad. I might start the egg salad in between these two and let it let the eggs go ahead and be cooking in the Instant Pot because we're going to have egg salad sandwiches for lunch. Then I have fruit prep and clean the kitchen windows. This one and these over here on this door. And I need to straighten up the back porch real quick, it looks like. Okay, laundry room. Here we come. So here's how the laundry room looks before. I have... The laptop is in that box that I told y'all about in yesterday's video that we're having to return. So it's already in there. I just have to get the ink to print out the return label. I need to get all the Gatorades and Bubblies in the refrigerator. I need to clean it out first. And over here is the little shelf thing. Titus got these to go in the garage several months ago. And he didn't have anything to put on the other one. And I have this empty space over here. And I thought it would be, you know, a good place for storage. And it's kind of just become a catch-all place where we just sit stuff. So I want to organize that real quick. And yeah, like I said, we need to pull all of these out and sweep back there. Here we go. We'll do the laundry baskets first. We got the laundry room done. I'm gonna go ahead and put some eggs in the Instant Pot so they'll be ready for us to make the egg salad in just a little bit. One cup of water, and we're gonna do six eggs. There we go. Pressure cook, five minutes. While the eggs are cooking, I'm gonna tackle this bookshelf. This is the one I'm not looking forward to. We're gonna get it done. Here's Tyler's scan thing for his braces. And we have baby wipes. Did you enjoy going through the books? The car. Yeah, you found the truck. Ooh, it's the little blue truck. Ooh. Yeah. Go. What's this one? Oh, that's your noisy farm book. And he found Christmas. Curious George Sounds Like Christmas. <gasps> Look at that finger snap. Okay, it looks much better now. All down here is the school stuff, and it's mostly just my stuff because the kids keep their things in their backpacks except for some of the readers are over there. But yeah, it's mostly my teacher keys and the test books and all of that stuff. And then Manly's, his stuff is right there and we put the game of life there because somebody's usually playing that at least once a day here lately, so I just put it there. Dance, oh, you want me to dance, okay. Dance break. Wait, he's gotta get the music going. Now it's ready. Woo, spin, sissy, spin. This could go on for hours. Are you ready for lunch? We got the eggs ready. Now we're just gonna slice up some celery and green onions. I'm gonna use this white part and the green part of the green onions. And Cece's getting me some pickles ready. I kinda make egg salad the same way I do potato salad. I don't really measure anything. I just put stuff in and then we'll taste it and see if we need a little more of something, something. But the basics of the recipe are eggs, celery, green onions, pickles, 
and then mayonnaise, a little bit of mustard, and salt and pepper. I still haven't transferred my meal plan to my thing on the refrigerator, so I'm gonna have to do that after lunch so I can look over there and see what the meal plan is. I could quickly forget. I know there's chili on there because that's what I'm thinking I might make tonight. So now I'm just putting some salt and pepper. Oh my goodness, y'all. I did not know that somebody took off the little cap on this mustard and I just shook it up and slung mustard everywhere over there. We're gonna put in a little mustard. I usually just do that, just a little squirt. That's probably, <laughs> he's laughing about it. That's probably maybe a teaspoon of mustard, I guess. Man, I'm getting mayonnaise everywhere. Mama's making a mess, Manny. Thank you. There we go. Now we just mix it up and I'll taste it and see, you know, if it needs more of anything. That's it. That's all we need. I probably could have went with a little less mustard, but I don't absolutely love mustard, so that's why. Now we make egg salad sandwiches. I have these croissants, these that we got from Aldi the other day. So we're just going to slice them open. We put some lettuce and the egg salad. We're gonna have some of these club crisps with it. The kids tried them yesterday and they said they were really good. And some cherries. That's it, lunch is ready. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have a pepper with mine because I love peppers. Okay y'all, Instant Pot Chili it is. I put a little bit of oil in the bottom of the Instant Pot. We're gonna turn it on saute. So we've got the ground beef in there. We're gonna go ahead and put in an onion. I'm using double the ground beef that the recipe calls for. I'm using a little, well actually a little more than double. It's a little over two pounds. Once I get this onion in here with the ground beef, I'm gonna mix up some cornbread real quick and get that in the oven. And by then the ground beef should be almost done and we'll add all the other things. And that's it, this is a pretty easy supper. I think I'm gonna do cornbread muffins too. Instead of a pan of cornbread, we'll do some muffins. I had to go over the songs for just a little bit, so I put Goof Troop on for the kids to watch. In case there's anybody new watching for cornbread, I just used the Martha White cornmeal mix, and I used the Southern, I think that they call it Southern cornbread recipe on the back of the bag. I do use buttermilk though. Instead of regular milk, I use buttermilk. That was Titus calling, I guess better call him back. Chili, instant pot, the best ever instant pot chili. time huh you got to shut the gate again okay shut the gate you got it no. now there we go good job. good job yeah good job there you go have a lovely day ooh nice and clean one <laughs> Okay y'all, here's the chili. It is not as thick as I would like it to be. I did do a little cornstarch and water mixture and put it on saute for a little bit. 
see if that would help it. It did just a little, but it's not very thick. I mean, I did add extra beef broth. I didn't double it, but I added extra since I used more ground beef. I don't know. This this Instant Pot chili recipe just, I don't know if it's going to be too great. Let's taste it and see how it tastes. I put some of this cheese on top of mine, this Fritos cheese dip. I'm going to eat mine with tortilla chips. I have the cornbread over here, so everybody can have cornbread or tortilla chips, whatever they want. I'm going to try it with the tortilla chips. I hate to give things bad reviews. I do, but this is not the best chili. I don't even think it's the best Instant Pot chili. <laughs> It's not the best. I have a chili recipe that is, well, it's the best I've ever had chili. I'll link that down below for y'all, that video, if y'all want to go check that out if you are looking for a chili recipe, because this is not it. <laughs> it's not terrible, but yeah. We've had better chili. I'm going to have to doctor this up a little bit. I'm going to put some onions on top. It's going to be like a little nacho chili cheese supreme thing. All right, kitchen's clean. The littlest dude is clean. What you doing? I car. You playing with your cars? You ready for mama to brush your hair? Uh-huh. Okay, you gonna do it? There you go.